Hundreds of civilian deaths, a black unit to hunt down Taliban leaders, intelligence pointing to Pakistani and Iranian involvement in the insurgency. The US military's secret Afghanistan war logs provide the most revealing picture of the conflict so far. An hour-by-hour -hour account emerges from 92,000 cryptic reports, each recording an incident involving NATO troops, a Taliban attack, or intelligence received. They were shared with The Guardian, The New York Times, and Der Spiegel by the whistleblower's website, WikiLeaks. Its founder, Julian Assange, explains why he made it public. If journalism is good, it is controversial by, by its nature. Uh, it is the role of good journalism to take on powerful abuses. And when powerful abuses are taken on, there is always a back reaction. So we see that controversy um, and we I believe that is a, a good thing to engage in. And in this case, um, it will show the, the true nature of this war. And then the, the public from Afghanistan and other nations um, can see what's really going on and take steps to address the problems. The significance of this material is both the overarching context, that is it covers the entire war since 2004, and individual events which are also significant, or a thread of events. So those include something like Task Force 373, an US-based assassination squad that goes around uh, Afghanistan killing people on a kill or capture list. Uh, it includes significant events where many people were killed. Uh, for instance, we are looking at an event that killed 181 people uh, at once, um, some by an AC-130 gunship. Um, it includes um, detail about how the war is supported in various ways. So how the um, political class in Kabul interfaces with US military and intelligence, how the corruption uh, is spread through that community, but also how the war is mediated by Pakistan and possibly by Iran. The nearest analogue is the Pentagon Papers, uh, which was released in the early 70s. That exposed how the United States was prosecuting the war in Vietnam. That was some 10,000 pages, and some of those pages were accepted and uh, put into the New York Times and other US newspapers. It wasn't for several years that uh, a book was published of some 5,000 of those pages by Beacon Press. This situation is different in that it's not just more material and being pushed to a bigger audience, and much sooner, if you like, everyone has the book, the whole lot at once, but rather that people can give back. So people around the world who are reading this are able to comment on it and uh, put it in context and understand the full situation. That is not something that has previously occurred and that is something that can only be brought about as a result of the internet. Militaries keep information secret to prosecute their part of a war, but also to hide abuse. And there is a military argument for keeping some information secret uh, that is very timely. So the, an example of where troops are about to deploy. Um, but that information expires quickly. And this information um, ranges from 2004 to 2010. Uh, so that argument uh, is not valid for this type of information. This legend on my t-shirt is really quite nice. It's from the Norwegian Journalist Association, SKUP, and it says, uh, dig down in time. And it's a, a reference to the snowfalls in Norway, that if you're up in the mountains and there's a lot of snow, you've got to dig down in time to, to be safe. But for investigative journalism, this is dig down into the archives to understand.